The Deccan Plateau extends from the Satpura Makal ranges in the north through the Maharashtra Plateau to the Telangana Plateau and to the Karnataka Plateau in the south. The Satpura range lies between the valley of Narmada in the north and the Tapti in the south. That is the location of it here. Satpura ranges run parallel between the Narmada and the Tapi, parallel to the Maharashtra Madhya Pradesh border. It commences in the west from the Rajpipla hills here through the Gwaligarh, Mahadev hills here, and at least in the central portion is broadened south to include Gwaligarh and the Mahadev hills and then to the east towards the Makal ranges here. The two most important peaks of the Satpura are Stamba, Dungar and Dupgarh. Both of them rising above 1300 meters. Amarkantak is a peak as well as a plateau. Of course, it is going to be dome shaped, so it's going to be peak as well as it is going to be a plateau. South of it is going to be the Maharashtra plateau. Nearly the whole of Maharashtra plateau is formed of plateau basalt, which has given rise to rolling surface with intervening shallow valleys. The Maharashtra Plateau has several ranges traversing it from north to south in an east-west direction. Now these ranges are offshoots of the western Ghats eh? that includes Ajanta, Harishchandra and the Balaghat ranges. Eh? South of the Maharashtra Plateau lies the Telangana and the Karnataka Plateau. The Telangana and Karnataka are carved out of the Akin Nishik rocks. The Godavari divides the Telangana Plateau into two sections. The northern section is bound on the north by the east flowing Varda and on the east by the south flowing Pranhita River. The twin city of Hyderabad, Sikandrabad is located in one such type of a depression. The northern portion of the Karnataka Plateau, that is south of Telangana, is the Karnataka Plateau. The northern portion of the Karnataka Plateau is drained by the Krishna and its uh, tributaries. Uh, these tributaries are the Ghat Prabha and the Mal Prabha, both originating from the Western Ghats. Uh. Masur Plateau is bounded on the west by the Sahyadris, that is the Western Ghats, and to the east by the Eastern Ghats. Uh. Of course, uh, these are the two that go to limit the extent of the plateau that makes it even more well defined of sorts. Uh. Physiographically, the Masur Plateau can be divided into two sections, Malnad and the Maidan. The Western Ghats occupy most of the Maharashtra Plateau. Dasatpura means eh, seven mountain ranges or folds. Eh. Now, these seven mountain ranges or folds are going to be one is Makal Hills, second is eh, Mahadev Hills eh, near Panchamari, the third is Kalibhit, the fourth is Asirgar, the fifth is Bijagar. The sixth is Barwani and the seventh is Arwani. Arwani extends to Rajpipla hills in eastern Gujarat as well. Now these are the seven hills that go on to make Satpura. The western part is a steep and that is where in the western part there is a gap. This is a gap that is going to be called by the name of a Khandwa gap. And it is here, it's a gap, so there will be a gap town and that is going to be called as Khandwa Burnhanpur Gap. The Tapti is the only major stream to rise from in the Mahadev Hills, rising from a spring near Multai. So of the same nature as the Western Ghat and they have broken off at right angles near Banwad in Nasik and runs due west. That is, they have broken off from a from the western Ghat near Banwad in Nasik and runs towards the east to near Manmad. So Banwad to Manmad. So that is where there is a wide gap through which the Great Indian Peninsula Railway passes. Satmala Ranges, known as the Seven Necklaces, is also an extension of the Sahyadris and Western Ghats within Nasik. Satmala and Satmala. Mala is the name of a necklace. It's an extension of the Western Ghat or Sahyadris within Nasik. These peaks are visible from, from, uh, visible from a greater part of the district and from prominent landmarks. Uh, and uh, the highest in this case is going to be Dhopar, Dhodap, that is how it is going to be known as. Uh. The third of this is going to be Harishan Range. Uh. The Harishan Range is a spur in the western Ghat uh, in India. It runs in a northwest to southeast direction, stretching from northeast of Pune district to Ahmednagar and Bid to Ismanabad district. 
Balaghat Ranges. Balaghat Range is a series of hills in the Maharashtra state of India. Balaghat Range starts from Western Ghats at the Harishan Range to the border of Maharashtra Karnatak states. Balaghat, like Harishan Range, separate the Godavari River Basin in the north from the Bhima River Basin in the south. Telangana Plateau lies towards the south of the Maharashtra Plateau. Unlike the Maharashtra Plateau, which is made of basalt, the Plateau of Andhra Pradesh and Karnataka are carved out of Nisi crocs. That was all about Deccan Plateau.